gracias. Hi there, I'm here for my 16 week update and I'm doing it in a different location um, just because that's how it's worked today. Um, and I am again on natural today. I, I'm actually going to get my, my roots done. Uh, highlights, I know we can do um, highlights during pregnancy because they use the foil and so I'm going to get that done. So I'll probably look a lot better later but unfortunately I don't have time to do my um, pregnancy blog later after my hair is done. So. Um, so I'm here today and I'm feeling kind of weird because I'm trying out this like maternity shirt and I've been, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a really hard time finding clothing that uh, fits my personality. You know, um, I like funky, I like um, like BB, like stuff like that. And obviously like there's not a lot of places that make clothes that fit that style. Um, there is one online called ASOS that looks kind of cute but I heard that they, they take a long, long time to ship. And then I was doing Zulily and they take like a month to ship. So it's almost like when you need them, you're not gonna have the clothes when you order them. So, and then they, all the other sites, like they all have like these style shirts, which is really weird for me. This is not my personality at all. So I'm just, um, I don't think, I think out of all the ones I have, I, I don't like this one. And of course I'm wearing it for my <laughs> pregnancy video. But, um, oh well, I'm trying it out. I'm trying to do the paternity clothes thing. I do still fit some of my other clothes, but um, sometimes I just don't feel like wearing tighter clothes, and this is actually a pretty comfortable shirt at least. So, oh well, it's the part of um, the process. So, what else has been going on this week? I am really tired today. We did, let's say we did a, a rock out with the Elmores this weekend. We had a really busy weekend. It was a fun weekend. Um, pregnancy symptom wise. Let's see, I feel like my brain is fried today. <laughs> um, I Today I feel like absolutely no symptoms, uh, which is not as fun, you know, when I don't have as many symptoms, but I did have stuff all week. So let me try to remember so today I'm 16 weeks pregnant, four months. This pregnancy is flying by and going slow at the same time, which I've talked about in the past. But yeah, 16 weeks, it feels like I'm really, you know, into it now. So, um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I do, okay, so let's talk about all the stuff that's gone on this week. Okay, yesterday was crazy. Um, somebody was over our house and they didn't mean any harm they were just doing some uh handstands on the wall in our house like playing around and i walked by and as i walked by they kicked down from their handstand and i got kicked in the stomach um i got a little scared i mean it hurt but it wasn't like bruised or a major stomach trauma but it did i mean i kicked me right where the baby is usually and I just laid down and I just breathed and and Harry was like don't worry I'll rub your feet everything's gonna be okay but um I was pretty upset for a few minutes I'm like please be careful you know so um and then I have all these you know concerned anxiety thoughts like oh my gosh what if something got injured on the baby like what if the the ear got kicked and they're like birth canals I mean their ear canals kicked in it's like that probably very improbable but um still caused me to have some anxiety but I just let it go I'm like trusting that there's enough padding there to protect the baby there's a reason why it's in you know surrounded by that amniotic fluid so hopefully everything's okay I didn't get my Monroe piercing yet as you guys can see um we just didn't have time to go and um, I think I am a little, con I am like slightly scared about it. I watched, I watched a video of somebody doing it and I saw the needle going through. Now I, I mean, I've already done other piercings, so I don't know why I'm suddenly scared, but I'm a little scared, but, um, and also I do, you know, I do wonder like, is my immune system gonna, because it's weaker when I'm pregnant, is it okay to do it? I'm like 99% sure that it's okay but also we just haven't had a chance to go. So I'm just gonna kind of keep that out there. We'll see if I um, end up doing it. I need to do it soon because I know once I really look pregnant, they might not even 
do it for me at certain places. So um, we'll see what happens. I did want to do it as a celebration, but we'll see what happens. So what else? Um, I have had more energy now. So I actually ended up doing the elliptical the other day, which before like made me feel really horrible. So I walked, and I did the elliptical, and I think maybe I even might even be able to run. I, I could feel that energized and that good. I haven't been doing weights though. Um, I'm wondering what you guys think. I've read in some areas that squats are okay with pregnancy, that you can't, not the side squats, but that just regular like squatting. And some people say it's great, you should do it. It's amazing for you, you to squat when you're pregnant. Um, but then some people say, no, it can agitate the placenta and things like that. So um, what do you guys think? Cause, Cause I used to do a lot of squats with my legs and I haven't been doing them. And I know we could probably still do like biceps and stuff like that. But um, I'm thinking maybe going back to some weights again because I'm feeling good. However, I did have a pregnancy symptom. I pulled out my shoulder blade this week really bad because when I was doing the, the treadmill walking, I was pushing down on the sides. And I guess what I did was, and it was the day after my adjustment. So I thought it was my adjustment. And I, he doesn't think it is. I went and saw him yesterday because I was like concerned that it was the adjustment it had messed me up or something. He said it's muscular. It wasn't the adjustment. So I really don't know, but all I know is I'm, I was doing that motion. And so, um, my shoulder blade was pulled out all week and today's the first day it feels good. I did go get a treatment yesterday and it didn't feel good after the treatment, but it feels better today. But, um, I had headaches from the structural pain and basically our ligaments are loosening up. Everything has to have room and space to be able to move and our muscles are loosening and um, the chiropractor was saying basically like, cause our abdominals are growing, that it actually affects your upper back, that it can pull on your upper back. And he was kind of warning me like, this is only the beginning cause he works on a lot of pregnant women. So I was just like, oh, okay. Um, so he gave me this. Now, I, I definitely want you guys to post an opinion if you can. He gave me something called lig Ligaplex, okay? And, um, it's supposed to be really good for joints. And I saw online like other women that were pregnant used it and they didn't have a lot of physical back pain and things like that when they used it. Now I'm a vegetarian and he asked me if I had any dietary restriction. I told him I don't eat meat. And he said, well, is it for personal reasons? I was like, well, I don't really like, I just don't like it. But it also, I guess there is some personal reasons like, like meat products gross me out. And I have no judgment, like I make meat for my husband, but even when I make meat, I like feel gross as I'm making it. Like I look at it and it just looks gross to me. So I don't mind that other people eat it, but me personally, it grosses me out. And the parts of the animal gross me out, like just the thought of ingesting parts of the animal. And by the way, I've always been that way. Like when I was a little kid, my family ate meat and I never wanted to eat it. And they had so many problems with me. They thought I was a problem child, but I genuinely think that just my body and who I am is not meant to eat meat. <laughs> Because as a little kid, I always knew I hated it. And um, and then I, you know, continued to eat it till I got out of my home. But um, yeah, I quit as soon as I got out of my home eating meat. So anyway, actually the only meat I do like is bacon, which is totally weird because I know it's that's probably one of the worst kinds of meat. I know a lot of vegetarians that they don't like meat, but then they like bacon. <laughs> if it's crispy, because it tastes like a cracker. It's, it's like a smoky cracker. Anyway. So let me tell you guys the ingredients in this. There's a bunch of vitamins in it, which is great. That's all good. But then bovine bone, which is cow bone. And then it says all these are good stuff like pea, dried pea juice, oat flour, but then bovine liver, veal bone extract, bovine kidney extract. Oh my, bovine adrenal cytosol, bovine spleen. This is, bovine is cow. I mean, I don't even got people that eat meat. When you think about it, do you want to eat the spleen? Do you want to eat the, the liver? Like, doesn't that even gross? Does that gross even you meat eaters out? Because it grosses me out. But I heard this stuff works amazing. He said that he gets his shoulder blade pulled out a lot and that this is really good for people that work out and for pregnant women. So I'm, I'm like scared to take it. It probably will really help me. Um, but I don't know if I can handle it. Like my body's not used to ingesting animal product like that. Um, I do eat dairy, but I remember one time an acupuncturist gave me bovine colostrum for my immune system. 
and I had a like a little asthmatic reaction to it so it wasn't that big of a deal so my husband's like well the reaction you had before to bovine wasn't that big of a deal and I have taken ox bile once I used to take it for my digestion so I was able to handle that so I'm literally like I'm scared to pop these <laughs> I'm like resisting it and I feel so bad because he was so nice he gave me these these were this was his um, his uh, stash he was out of them so he gave me his bottle so I'm like all oh, right I gotta take these I'm gonna at least try it once so I don't even know if I need to take it with a meal I don't know I'm scared guys what do you think should I take it yes or no post below if you want to answer I, I really need some help what do you think will you think I'll be okay taking it you think it's better to have less pain throughout pregnancy physically and just deal with it taking these like just kind of not think about what I'm taking and just take it <laughs> all right you guys let me know so um, what else I went I go to this group this support group for new moms and I was so happy because they all could see my bump they were like Oh, it's so cute. So I, I guess I really am starting to show. Um, and that makes me happy. Uh, good news. My pregnancy rhinitis is gone. Yay. So I haven't really been, I still get like a little stuff stuffed up once in a while. Like I'll sneeze for like a minute or something. But overall, it's just gone. So it's so wacky, man. Like pregnancy is a trip. It's the things we go through. It's like you have one issue one week, then that goes away. And then you have another issue. So, um, and as a result, I've also been sleeping better throughout the night. I think maybe the hormones, I also read that hormones can make us not sleep very well. Um, so suddenly I am now sleeping at least till six in the morning when my husband wakes up. So, um, I'm really excited about that. I am sleeping better. I still don't really feel as comfortable with the pregnancy pillow, but I'm still using it. I didn't use it last night though. And I slept fine, but I just, I want to. I think it's better for our joints, you know, as we're growing to, to use the pregnancy pillow. So that's really good. What else has gone is um, that insatiable hunger. But I think it's because I've just learned to eat bigger meals now. I just, I, I guess I wasn't used to that before. I was trying to eat the same size meals that I used to eat. And that just doesn't work. So, you know, like if I have like a veggie sandwich, you know, I used to have like maybe I would have cut a piece of bread and have it like, because I, I use a lot of fresh bread and I would have it like this small, you know, and now I'm like, I like cut a hunk of bread like this big and I just fill it with veggies and stuff. And it's just, oh my God, that sounds really good right now. So <laughs> I'm just eating bigger meals and I'm, I'm not insatiably hungry and I'm not, I'm not even eating before bed anymore because my dinners are, have been bigger. So, um, I don't know, that's working for me right now. Um, let's see what else has been going on. Oh, I've been on the search for a good face wash and you know when we're not supposed to have certain things on our even topical like no retinoids and it seems like all the face washes that and the face moisturizers also I'm looking for a moisturizer they so much of them have um, all of the vitamin A in it and so and then salicylic acid salicylic acid and I forgot we weren't supposed to have salicylic acid so I went and I got this like salicylic acid face wash I spent all this money and then I realized I'm not supposed to have it. So do you guys have any suggestions? I can't, even, I don't even know what brand to get. I want to get one that helps you have like brightening, kind of like a brightening and, and makes your skin, I want a moisturizer that makes your skin look supple. I tried ordering one online that had like vitamin E and it was, um, um, I forgot what the company was. It's a great company. I used to get their stuff all the time. But then it, that one was making me break out because it was too, it was like too greasy. So, um, I think maybe hyaluronic acid might be right for me, but those products are so expensive. So do you guys know a product that is reasonably priced that is a good face wash to make your face kind of look supple and a good moisturizer? Because I just wasted my money on, on this stuff. Like I know we can have alpha hydroxy and that might help. So do you guys know a good product for that? So let me know because I'm on the search. I like look online all the time and I, can't, I just have no idea. It's like it's almost like you don't know until you try it, so it'd be get better to get a, a recommendation. Okay, so some more um, some more symptoms. Uh, when I'm dehydrated, I notice when I use the bathroom, I have cramping. I my midwife told me that was probably the case, but I didn't really know. But now I really know because pretty much the cramping goes away unless I haven't drank enough water. So I'm really really making an effort to drink about eight glasses of water a day. 
which um, I just, it's really hard for me. I don't know why I try and I just don't feel like drinking that much water, but I think I've at least been doing six glasses a day. And I know my midwife was telling me I need to do eight and increase, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Maybe I do at least eight glasses of liquid a day though. I, I do a half a cup of black tea in the morning, which is my only caffeine I allow. And then I do, um, sometimes I do like a cup of juice. So those are two glasses of liquid. So hopefully I'm doing all right. I mean, I haven't been, I had cramping one day and it was really bad. It almost felt like a, like a what labor pain, I imagine a labor pain would feel. It was pretty bad. Um, and then it goes away once I use the bathroom. But um, I, I guess that our nerves are sensitive. If we're dehydrated, we can have more cramping. So drink your water, ladies. Um, what else? I had an extremely weird dream last night. Okay, I haven't had one of those pregnancy dreams yet. I've just been having like weird dreams. But last night I dreamt that the baby came out at the size that it is now. And this is really wacky. Um, I had to put it in its baby bath. And when we I put it in the baby bath, like, and it came out like it was like frozen. Like it was, it was almost like one of those rubber things that you, you put water on and then they grow. So what happened was, this is crazy. So then I put it in the baby bath and I got the water on it and it grew into a full size baby. And then it like suddenly like became alive and it was like laughing and a little crying. And I was so happy in the dream. I was like, oh my gosh, the baby grew. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And... And then fast forward, the dream was, the, the and the baby was a boy in the dream, which I still don't know the gender. The baby was a boy, and um, fast forward in the dream, the, my baby was grown up to a full grown man. It was like a 30 year old man. And he was kind of like a Guido guy. He had like, like, <laughs> like blonde gelled hair and like a black leather jacket. And he was a really nice guy in the dream. Like I, like I remember the whole dream of watching his personality and that he was the kind of person that helps people out. And that was really sweet. And, I don't know, that was a, just an odd dream. I have no idea why I dreamt that, and I don't think I'm having a boy, so <laughs> maybe we are, though. I don't know, that'd be crazy. I was reading about um, circumcision and all that kind of stuff. Like, we haven't even thought about that because we don't think it's a boy, but I guess if it is a boy, we'll probably end up doing the circumcision thing, which people have a lot of opinions about. But um, I personally think that it allows, it's harder to clean when they're not circumcised, and I think, you know, to avoid infection and stuff like that, that we would end up doing that so plus it's pretty normal in the United States I know in Europe it's not as common for those of you guys that are watching from Europe but um, it's very common in the US so it's it's almost like the normal thing here so um, and I'm pretty alternative I usually like tr don't always do the normal thing but that one feels like in terms of you know just making it easy for cleaning purposes so we'll see what happens so what else? All right, cravings. I have been craving fresh bread. I brought that up. There's this little farmer's market that I go to and they have the best fresh bread. And I'm telling you, I ate, <laughs> I don't even feel bad about it because when you combine everything I eat, I eat so vegetarian and sometimes even vegan. So the calories all add up to, to a normal amount of food. But like I ate this loaf of bread um, I shared some pieces with my family, but then the rest of it I ate within two days. So this loaf of bread was gone because I made a big veggie sandwich, and I made another big veggie sandwich, and then I had like four, you know, d different occasions pieces of bread with butter. And I love bread. I've always loved bread. So like right now, I really, really love fresh bread. So I actually, I'm like, I need to get another loaf of that. So um, yeah, bread has been a staple for me. Bread and lots of veggies. So I guess that's about it. Not too much today. Um, just uh, still growing, 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 and excited, excited, excited. Like I'm so excited. I just, I just can't wait. It's fully grown and comes out. So let me um, show you guys my bump, my bump, diddy bump, diddy bump. <clears throat> and um, be here. So. Shirt a little bit, so you can see. There we go. Here we go. And it is happening. It is bigger. It is big. This piece, you gotta, you gotta admit, it is. So, I hope all of you are having great pregnancies. And um, subscribe here. Let's continue to connect. Let's help share stories and 
um, give each other support throughout our pregnancies and have a really great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.